Namaste friends, welcome to Yoga Bliss with Shelly and I'm Shelly. Today's practice is yoga for change. My friends, if you have some harder floors, grab yourself a cozy couch blanket, unroll the mat, unpeel the edges, and together let us do this. <laughs> Sukhasana or in a hero's pose, whatever resonates with you. Hero's pose is just big toes kissing big toes, open up wide at the heels and sink the sit bones back. You can use this blanket under the knees or you can use the blanket underneath the sit bones. And just allow yourself just to kind of check in, check in with how you're doing. I always get a little wiggly before a class. I like to take my glasses off if you need to fidget with your hair, fidget with your shirt, your shorts, all the things. And with the tips of the fingers, placing them on the mat, inhale, raising the shoulders high, opening up the heart in the front, squeezing the shoulder blades back in the back. We're gonna exhale, dive forward. This is almost like a sitting cow and cat. So you're gonna find that flexion of the spine and then inhale, raise up and really find length, drawing length from the navel from the sit bones, navel all the way up high, high, high to the sky. Exhale, rounding forward. Inhale to rise. And tune in with your breath. And just notice how you're feeling today. Notice where you're feeling any aches, any pains as you exhale, diving forward. Inhale to rise. Exhale to sink. Some work, my friends. Exhaling that right hand to the earth as you zip up. Inhale, bringing that left arm up high to the sky, crossing over that midsection, over the top of the head. Inhale, floating the arm back down to the earth. Taking three of these, inhale to rise. Exhale to sink. Inhale to rise, that hand high, high, high up to the sky, crossing over that midsection, almost kissing the ear with your bicep. Exhale, one more from the core, really tightening it up, rising it up, really feeling that expansion in the left body, compression in the right. Exhaling down to the earth, floating the left fingertips to the earth. Inhale, raising high, high, high up to the sky, finding length and really working with your body weight here as you exhale, crossing the midsection, kissing that right bicep to the ear, Exhale to float down to the earth, being mindful of your body and your neck, your spine, and just noticing what's, uh, what's going on in your body, in this ever-changing body that day-to-day -day feels so different. Awesome work, my friends. Inhale, raising both hands high, high, high up to the sky like you're holding a beach ball or you're holding a light bubble. In raise that high, high up to the sky. Exhale, hinging forward at the heart. Bringing those hands forward and bringing them down to the earth. And we're gonna walk our hands on the mat, coming into all fours. This is where that blanket is gonna be your friend. I always recommend a blanket and it doesn't mean you're less of a yogi or anything. It means you're protecting the joints. So if you need to, tucking your shirt in, rooting the palms of the hands into the earth. Big wide open starfish hand as you ground and root through the thumb to the pointer, rooting through the middle, the ring all the way to the pinky. Just take a moment in your heels. So if you would like, you can, from the court, inhale, lifting up those hind feet, maybe taking a little crisscross, applesauce. And from the spine, we're gonna inhale, raising up here, really tuning into the spine as you open up, hollow out through the front body. Breathing a fluid inhale that rises up the soles of the feet and letting it sigh out. Fluid inhale, long and lengthen into the heart center. Exhaling it out as we get ready to shift and change, right? Like our bodies, allowing that navel to float towards the earth, moving the tail and the chin high up to the sky. And knowing that your mobility is gonna look different. 
tune into the arms. I can feel my elbows have this tendency to wing out. So really tuning in as you're with a micro bend, bringing the eyes, the elbows towards the short edge, edge of the mat and bringing a breath that almost like, you can imagine if you drew, dropped a ball down your head and it would roll to the small of your back and float up. So use your breath like that ball. Bring it in and letting it sigh. Awesome work. Big old breath that radiates up the soles of the feet. Letting that sink. Awesome work. Really setting yourself up here, my friends, as you open up wide open starfish hands and just move the hands, maybe about one hand prick forward. And from here we can pull that blanket out the way if you would like to, really hollowing out through that front body, traveling, diving those sit bones high, high, high up to the sky for a downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Savasana. And just taking a moment to pedal up the feet here. Sinking the heart towards the thighs. Really opening up, widening through the shoulder blades in the back body. And really noticing, if you can, just open your eyes and look around. Seeing what happens when you change your perspective. I don't know why, but looking around. And just noticing what it looks like when you change the way that you're looking. When you're in this inversion versus in your... When you are your head straight up high to the sky. And from here, my friends, just taking one foot and crossing the midsection, crossing until you meet at the top, tippity top, 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 top of the mat. Allow yourself here in this forward fold, carefully as you can, placing the feet inside of the, inside of the hips. Inhale, raising up half flat back. So imagine this long line of energy from the top of the head that goes down each vertebrae and just doing your best to find your alignment. Maybe today you're feeling a little droopier, or maybe you can really find some length in the spine as you tuck that navel back towards the spine. Exhale to sink forward. We're going to do a backward swan dive. So backward swan dive, bring those arms behind you. Inhale, root to rise all the way back, back, back. Inhale, hands high up to the sky. Bringing hands, palms, kissing palms above the head, floating down to the heart center. And pausing here in your peaceful mountain. Wonderful work. Taking a moment just to pause here. And just notice what's going on inside, my friends. Bringing a length and breath into the heart. And sighing it out. Now stepping back that right foot. Stepping back that right foot. Opposite. I am your mirror. So stepping back the left foot and keeping that right foot facing that short edge of the mat and the left foot is going to face, you can take a line and trace to the corner of the mat. Really tuning into that micro bend and that hind foot as you root all four corners, the two corners in the front and the two in the back. From here, hands on the hips like your hips are headlights. Bringing those hands to the hips facing forward Finding length in the spine. If you would like, you could take a cactus arm here, or you can keep the hands at the hips, bringing that length and breath in as we once again change our perspective. I have this fly that is just getting me, and it's it's forcing me to change my perspective of not getting frustrated and annoyed. As we take a big breath in, floating the arms back like an airplane. Woo, that fly is really getting me. Hinging the heart towards that front knee. You can leave the arms floated backwards or you can bring palms, kissing palms, floating together, interlacing here for a nice spine. You can exhale. If you would like to, you can tuck that chin towards the chest here for a humble warrior. Just taking a moment once again as we change our perspective, as we notice change in our body, change and Allowing an inhale to rise up the soles of the feet and letting it go. And saying that you are strong, repeating, I am strong. I am strong. Awesome work. I am strong. Floating the hands down to the earth and just gently repositioning with the, bringing that heel facing the rear of the mat here and floating that right knee down to the earth here. 
but it's going to be your left knee. With the foot facing forward here, just take a moment, coming forward and backwards, hinging into that body. You can use that blanket if that feels good for you. Get that blanket up on in there. I like the blanket. I really like to protect the, the knee joints. From here, my friends, zipping up through the core. Inhale, rising up. And noticing if you're feeling really wobbly, that's going to mean you're more set up like on a tightrope. So you're kind of moving the feet apart. Like you're on a set of skis. Skis that maybe are a little bit wider apart. If you've never skied, don't worry about it. Just bring in those feet a little bit further away. They like a railroad track. Hands on the hips. Inhale, raise the hands high, high, high up to the sky. Holding that beach ball once again. Exhale. Giving yourself this gentle back bend. From the core, you can also take a gentle cactus. Bending at the elbows. Opening that heart light up. Squeezing those shoulder blades together here. Now being mindful of the breath. Being mindful of the thoughts and just noticing how your mind goes when your body tries to change from pose to pose, right? What is it saying? What messages are you getting? Excellent work, my friends. Just pausing here, strengthening through the core, feeling that stretch in that lower back, that back bend here. Inhale, coming to neutral kneading those hands down at the earth, powering up through that hind foot, and we're gonna kinda just work our way back up onto that flat foot. From here you can move the blanket, windmilling, slow and steady, my friends, and straightening out just a little bit that front leg. Just noticing what it's feeling like in the hips, you can take a moment here, and you can just take that hind foot and step it forward, meeting me in a mountain. Inhale, raising those hands high, high, high to the sky. And now we're going to step back the opposite foot. So as you step back that opposite foot, bring the toes, bring the toes facing the short edge of the mat in that corner here, bending into that front foot. When you peek into the front foot, just notice, see, all you want to see is that tippy tip of the toe. If you see a lot more, that's okay. That could be a mobility thing and knowing that yoga is not a one size fits all. Just being aware that if you're covering up all of the feet, all the toes, feet, we have two feet, right? Oh, if you're covering up all the toes, you just wanna find that alignment to keep our body healthy. From here, airplaning the arms back as you draw the navel in towards the spine, tipping forward, hinging those hips, hinging the heart towards the earth. You can keep the arms in the airplane. You can bend the arms to behind the hips, resting on the hips, or you can challenge yourself for a bind, interlacing the fingers together, really working together the shoulders in the back and opening up the heart, the front body. If you'd like, you can humbly tuck the chin forward here, coming into your humble warrior. Once again, as we change our perspective, just noticing what the body does. Noticing what the mind tells us. Noticing the emotions. Just notice the fight in the body. And tuning into a mantra of I am strong. I am strong. Rock it out, my friend. I am strong. Inhale, raising at the back of the heart. Awesome, awesome work, my friend. From here, friends, moving that hind heel towards the back of the mat. And if you lose your balance a little bit, that's okay. Floating those hands down towards the earth, you can bring that blanket back underneath of that knee. You don't have to, I like to. Floating that hind knee down to the earth, lengthening that leg long behind you, and just tune in if it feels better to lay the top of the foot on the earth or draw it up towards the sit bones. And just taking a moment to rock back into the heel. Feel what that feels like in that hip, that ball and socket joint. Inhale, walking forward. You can really feel this in that glute, the booty, and the hamstrings. Walking back, just taking a moment. Ooh, feeling okay with any cricks or pops going forward. Awesome work. From here, finding your base, that balance on that railroad track with that set of skis from the core. Inhale, raising it up, my friends, from the belly. Right? One side's going to feel off. 
I always have one side that just feels like super on and then the other side sometimes feels like a ball of goo. So be okay sometimes when we're in that ball of goo state. You can bring the hands bent at the hips, lengthening from the spine. If you hear crazy kids, it's mine. They're here. Of course they're here. They're always here. From the spine, you can exhale, bending the elbows. And my friends, knowing that there's no perfect environment to practice yoga, that we have to just show up on our mat, how we are, whether there's kids in the background, dogs. Sometimes, you know, there's like a whole laundry room full of laundry to fold or a sink full of dishes. Show up on your mat because I know for me, when I show up on my mat, I show up better off on my mat. Tipping that heart back, giving yourself that gentle back bend as you open the heart. You can really, if you're in this, like stick them up. This is also a cactus, right? Because cactuses have these arms, even though they're a little bit more soft and billowy than us. That uh, you can really open up that heart and squeeze the shoulder blades together. And you could really use that body weight resistance, right? A lot of times we can just kind of fall or just put ourselves weakly into a pose or we can activate the muscles really squeezing through the front body, the back body, opening it up, big breath that radiates up. Letting that go, inhale the root to rise. Letting that go, yes, we have got this my friend. From here tipping forward, bringing hands, both hands to the earth. Raising up through that hind foot, and you can move that blanket out of the way, really rooting those hands into there, stepping back here, meeting in a plank pose, so hollowing out through that front body and the hind body. <sighs> Inhale, rocking forward, back. Exhale, gently micro bending the knees towards the earth, bringing those knees towards the earth, hovering above here. Where is the walk? Exhale. Mommy, where is the, the watch? Heels, that Mommy. Honey, I don't know. And you're wearing your shoes on the carpet. No shoes. You on the gotta carpet. watch. Exhale. Mom. Pressing those sit bones. Mom, did you get a watch? Hey, Jackie, I'm already now doing your yoga did class. You get the a one watch on your for me? With I love you. Did you get a watch? For Sending me? those sit bones back high Mom, high up to the sky. Did you get a watch? Working for me? through distractions. Mom, I did, did not get you a watch, Jack. Right now, we're working through <laughs> distractions. And one thing my kids have been challenged with is always wanting to get new things. It's been really frustrating. Right? We're just showing up. Okay, my friends, from here, just taking a moment, and we're going to walk once again, crisscross, crossing over in a section, meeting at the front of the mat. In this forward fold, forward folding. Exhale, lifting half flat back here, removing any wrinkles from the neck, how we started. Exhale, sneaking all the way through. Awesome work, my friend. Inhale, raising half flat back. Just two in. My kids are crazy. If you have kids, you will know. They're crazy and they're sweet. Mostly crazy. It's fine. It's life. It's how it is. I'm grateful for that. Exhale, sinking down into the earth. Inhale, raising up. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Upwards, one dive. My kids definitely help keep me youthful. Bring palms, kissing palms to the heart center and meeting me at the center. I love this tree behind me because I always like to find it's like it represents like the tree of life. And there's this fly flying around. So my friends, notice how your practice has been for you. If there's been disturbances or things, or maybe it's my kids and my things, and just notice because exactly how we show up on the mat and all these things and issues that happen, they happen outside of us. So we're gonna finish with just a little moving meditation at the very end here. So loosen out your body, and this is um, a shaking meditation, and it, it helps move emotions, energies, it helps, it helps you feel good. So we're gonna just start, feet are inside the hips, so kind of like you're marching in place, just take a little march, and really root those feet into the earth. We're gonna come on the ball joints of the toes. That front part, these two front, we're gonna glue those in. And we're gonna just take a little buoyancy. So I want you to inhale, just kind of find a little bounce. So just bounce, and I want you to kind of gumby and loosen your shoulders. So feel what it feels like in the front, in the back. So moving that bounce all the way up, you're gonna keep a nice bend to the knees. Soften up the hips. You can sway the hips. 
And then I really want you to find something to focus on, not me, in your house. Find something on the floor, maybe it's a picture, maybe there's a plant out the window. And just let yourself bounce. So let yourself shake it out. So if you can, I really encourage you to move at the wrists and kind of, again, like Gumby. I don't know if you are, were around in the Gumby days. I had some Gumby. Gumby is like this really buoyant, I don't even know if it's rubbery, silicone guy that just moves. Maybe a rubber chicken. <laughs> It just move so maybe so now taking the left arm and really just shaking it on out and you're just almost like if you could imagine you don't have joints and bones and just get all shaky limbly and just shake it on out through that hand and then shaking through the right hand thank you Judy. no thank you no worries Judy. no thank you and we just had a pause there for a minute and just working into that right hand and now just moving it down Move it down. Okay, now both hands. Don't worry about what you look like. This is not one of those things that you worry about what you look like. And then if you can, you can jump, close your eyes, tend, test your center of gravity, and just shake it down. Just move it on down. Shake it on down. Awesome work. Shaking it on down. And if that mantra helps, say shake it on down. Move it on down. Just Kind of soften that shake. Shake it on down, finding slowly a little stillness. Voila. Woo, feels great. Maybe just do one and let everything go. One more, let everything go. And bringing palms, kissing palms back to the heart center. Pause here a moment. Just notice maybe opening up the hands like you're holding like a lotus blossom in front of you you're holding some space for yourself. Just notice, feel what that feels like. Maybe it's warm and tingly and fresh. Maybe that fly comes back. Just notice what it feels like in between your hands. If you're feeling nothing, that's okay. It doesn't matter. Slowly palms, kissing palms at the heart. Acknowledging all the love and all the good that's in your heart and acknowledging all the love and all of the good that is still exists in the world, no matter what changes are happening, no matter things that are feeling weird and different, knowing that this love and this goodness, it resides within you. I love you so much, my friends.